Hey guys, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. We're here with Laura. We're talking about sobriety and also fitness journey, weight loss, gaining muscle. And we're covering the 12 step program. In the last video, we left off at step eight where we made a list of all the persons we had harmed. And we were creating lists for every trigger that creates us to overeat or moves us further away from our goal. Now, in today's video, we're gonna talk about step nine and 10. So number nine is where you make direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. So tell us about that. Correct. So in that list, we need to we, we need to make another list of, of, of all those people. And some are gonna be easy, some are going to be a little harder, and there's going to be the ones that are going to be the hardest. So you know, for every easy one that you do or easy three that you do, you want to maybe do a, a you know, a, do a harder one. Um, mm -hmm. One of my hardest ones, I think, was um, making amends. I felt making amends to my brother and not because of, of him. It was because of all that I had done. Um, so it came back to, you know, when I was ready, I would be able to make this amends and I wanted to do it in person. So he ended up coming to Winnipeg and I was able to do it in person with him. And it was really a beautiful thing because when I made my amends to him, he told me, he said, all I've ever wanted for you is the same peace and happiness that I've had in my life. Mm. Um, and I was so scared to do that one because I felt that I was so unfair to him for so long. And um, it was it was one of the most one of the most rewarding, um, if I'm if I'm being honest. And, um, you know, I truly believe that when we're ready to, to make that amends or let go of certain things, um, it kind of, the situation will present itself. And um, the amends though, you know, some of them scary, some of them easier than, than others. Some people, you know, like my brother was very uh, accepting and, and open about it. My parents were as well. Um, they'll reveal themselves when when it's time and and um it, it really was able i was really able to kind of sit back and 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 breathe and and move forward from from making those amends it it um it gave me a lot of um just reassurance and and um and courage to to keep keep going such a breakthrough mm -hmm. right being able to break through and communicate with somebody that you absolutely love Mm -hmm. You know, I often find, and I do this myself, I'm harder on the people that are closest to me mm -hmm. because you have a history of, you know, who they are and you, feel, you you think you really, really know these people because you've been around them all your life. Mm -hmm. And so for that, you, you're you harder on them and you give them less, less flexibility. So if you can create change with somebody like that, that's, that's close to you, I think that's such a huge breakthrough. And I think mm -hmm. that doing stuff like that helps you build a relationship that you won't regret in the end. And I think like for me, that's one of the biggest things is I always think, okay, I'm trying my best. Will I regret the actions that I'm taking right now? Right. Or inactions like, mm -hmm. you know, somebody was, you know, you felt like somebody, like I tried my best with this person and I feel like I'm done with this person. And then in the back of your mind is like, well, is there one more text you can do? You know, like, and I've done that with members and I've done that with family members where it's mm -hmm. like can you just send them a message like suck up your pride send them one more message just see what's up don't come in as like an assumption just go in there with the open heart yeah. and I would say nine out of tens that reactivates that that relationship and it's like you just got to like be on mutual terms in fact you just got to say disregard my ego disregard anything that has gone in the past and just go in there and just say how's it going you know, like how you been, like super just vanilla and just start it there. And when it comes to like making amends, I would relate this to the fitness journey in the sense of we always start everybody off on a 21 day challenge. I don't know if you were around when we started this. I don't think so. I think we started within the last six, six months. And ever since we've started this, like building better habits, but mm -hmm. simple habits, Yeah. right? So like the very first habit, we're like, work out. Like day one of we do five a week, for 21 days, okay? Mm -hmm. We give the weekends off because we get it. We don't want no stress, right. but we want you to start building up better habits every single week. Day one of the 21 day program mm -hmm. is workout. Yeah. The second day is, can you get 10,000 steps, right? right? To you, me, we're like 10,000. I'm at 10,000 steps already, Yeah. right? Like you're probably pretty close to that, right? And you've 
Yeah. You, you, and you, it's only not even a half a work day, right? right? Uh, the third one is, can you drink three liters of water? To me, you and me, we're like, three liters of water. I peed out three liters of water, <laughs> right? But these are yeah. all simple habits that we're trying to build better habits for everybody. Right. And I think that that's how this relates is that we don't need to take, you know, we don't have to have this perfect life. Like you don't need to be able to run a triathlon before you come to the gym. You don't need to be 20 pounds lighter. You don't need to fit into these Lululemons and wear a sports bra. Like literally just come as you are. Absolutely. Right. And so it's like, this is what we do with our step nine in a sense is mm -hmm. that we just give you five tasks per week out of seven days. Every task is a simple fitness task that is doable. Not a lot of people do it when mm -hmm. they first start, but then the more we do it, the easier it gets. And then it leaves you asking, okay, well, what's next, right? You're like, what else can I do? What else am I capable? And it all started with one simple habit, like Monday, show up to the gym. What do we always say about Monday? Do you know? Never miss a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so that is key, guys, is that we just start that habit of getting that in your head that no matter what, never miss a Monday. Yeah. Okay. You can maybe miss a Tuesday. We don't recommend it, but just never miss a Monday. And it starts with making amends with yourself like this and starting with a better habit. Right. So let's move on to step 10, where it's the continued to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admit it. So there's a lot of bad habits and a lot of um, things that we fell patterns we fell into uh in the problem and you have to learn how to live life on life's terms um, using the principles that you learn in the 12 steps so really um you know it's about starting your day off right and you know in the morning on my drive to work i put my music on silent i turn it off i mute it completely i don't let the outside noise get to me and um, i ask for direction in my day I ask for direction on uh, you know, being patient, tolerant, loving and kind, um, and making sure that I am trying to put myself on the best path to be the best version of myself and not let outside things um, influence and um, to, you know, to ask to respond rather than to react. Um, so I feel that that's really important to continuously, every day, set your intentions and set your pace for that day. And if you, if I don't do that, I feel, I feel off, and I feel like there's something wrong, and then I need to stop, and and set those intentions, and then I can move on about about my day. That's so interesting. Most people like they blast music, like they just get themselves right fired up, and you calm down, you get into your your head, mm -hmm. and you're like, this is who I'm gonna be today, and you set the mold. Like, I love that for me. And like a lot of people don't think I, I have a lot of bad mornings. Like, you know, there's not when I get up in the morning, I'm not like super chippy, but I also set up a lot of things in order for me to be able to have a good morning. Cause I understand mm -hmm. that once that alarm get, goes off or my eyes open up, I don't want to get up either. Right? Like, it's not like, Oh yeah, like I'm going to get up. Like, you know, I've been a business owner for how long I've been doing in, the, 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 in this industry for a very long time. And so for a lot of people, they can't do the same thing over and over for the rest of their right. life and because it gets too stale, right? Mm -hmm. This is why a lot of relationships get ended. This is why a lot of people don't stay in the gym or they're changing careers or they're always looking for like the, the grass is greener somewhere, right. right? And so for me, I made that intention that this is what I wanna do. I decided back mm -hmm. in 2015, 16, that like these are the people that I wanna grow old with. I literally said that to myself, yeah. okay? Cause I was training like athletes, young kids. And the problem was like, the, the hardest part for me with training the young athletes was that they always left <laughs> because they're 12, they're 11, they're 13, right. they're 14, they're 15. Like they stopped playing hockey, mm -hmm. right? Some of them continue to stay with me as they went into the pros, but then that doesn't stay long. And so then they don't work out or they do their own thing. And this and that. I'm like, you know, what happened to this kid that I worked out with like for the past five, six years, right. know their parents, was at their house every weekend, this and that. And I'm like, they go away. And so for me, I was like, I can't take that loss anymore. Right. It's like, I want to just, have the same people and I want to help them grow and optimize their life and do videos like this and get to meet more people like Laura. And you know, how can we, I was like, this year is the year of optimization for me. So it's not like I'm trying to grow. I'm not trying to like open up 10 franchises. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to like do this huge thing. I'm just like, okay, what I'm doing right now is pretty sweet. I got a great team in Jerome and Jen and Kareen and Jessica and like, 
Jackie and like the whole crew and like these guys are like family to me. So we have fun together. I'm like, how can we make these relationships better? Right. And so for me, when I get up in the morning, I always had the same intention. I'm like, you gotta get up, man. You gotta get up. And it's like, it's like I get up and I always say the same thing. So it's 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 like I put my hands in the position because yeah. I've read that like just getting in that position just drives an energy power. And I say, mm -hmm. bless this day, this beautiful today. Today I'll be the best version of me. That's right? awesome. And then I go in through my stretching routine and then I actually do listen to motivational. Like I just, mm -hmm. I have to put it on because I need to hear something very positive and inspirational, okay? And I like to listen to people that are like successful, that are, I, I mainly go to like either athletes or actors, okay? Because okay. I like to see their vulnerable side, yes. right? Like these guys, we mm -hmm. see them as being ultra successful, wealthy, and we think that like even athletes and, and like, Brad Pitt, like they have their life together. But then you realize through these videos that like, you know, The Rock, you know, he had $5 in his pocket right. when he played Canadian at CFL and he got sent home and his dad had to pick him up and he couldn't even afford the bus and he was living on the ground. And you know, like I like to hear about those things where these guys were literally backed into the corner and they grew themselves out of it. And mm -hmm. so for me, I need to hear more and more positive. And the thing about with Fit Club, the very first mission I had, okay? So first mm -hmm. it was like, I need, to create full-time employment. That was like my thing, right? Because right. I was hiring a lot of students and like, mm -hmm. you know, just because it's just the way the nature of the, the, the hockey training and this and that way, they, right. they went off to play hockey and then they stopped and so I didn't have any work for them. And so I was like, yeah, I need to create this into a full-time gig. Now I found the people I want to do this forever. And then I was like, I need to change Facebook. I was like, I need to change social media. And because it's like, I do not like going on because when I turn it on, it's right away I'm triggered, right? right? It's somebody's negative toxic post about their neighbor that left their cat out. You know, like, I don't want to see that stuff. I'm sorry. No. Like, it's fine to do that, but I personally don't want to see it. So now when I flip on Facebook or any type of social media feed, who do I see? Laura Benisaki, Jessica, Sam Powderhorn, Amanda. I'm so grateful for the life that I have. You know, I, I feel like I've had so much success in such a short period of time, and I'm looking forward to my future success. You know, right. today I accomplished a goal that I never thought I'd be able to do. I feel so accomplished. You know, then these are the things that I'm like, I can flip onto my social media and never be triggered. In fact, I'm motivated. It's hard for me to get off right. because I'm like, at some point in time, I got to stop liking and commenting because they're all such great posts. Mm -hmm. And so this personal inventory that you're talking about, I think is huge for a lot of people is that you create this environment, you create the mold that you're looking for, like how you do first thing in the morning. Everybody has their different methods, but in the end, it starts with what happens in between the years. Absolutely. Right. Where do you see yourself today? And that's basically what you're doing is where do I see myself right here and right now? What's my intentions for the day? Mm -hmm. And you do that every single day. It's just like taking your right foot and placing your left foot in front of it and mm -hmm. then taking your right foot and putting it in front of your left. It's like you're just always constantly moving forward yes. and you might not be like, OK, I want to get to that mountain. Like it's just a matter of like, OK, I'm on a mountain and I'm climbing this mountain. Mm -hmm. I don't know when I'll be done. But I know as long as I continue to have the right mindset and keep moving forward, I'm going to get to where I got to go. Right. And there's going to be hiccups. And it's how you deal with those hiccups. Right. You know, if you take a moment, maybe if you, you know, if you find saying a little prayer, a little meditation or whatever the case may be, when those things come up to deal with them. And then at the end of the day, taking that inventory of your day and thinking, you know, oh, maybe what I said to that person was a little harsh and I, I maybe I need to make an amends to them. Mm -hmm. You know, promptly admitting when you're wrong is so important so that you can move forward in a better path. One of the things where people are so hard on themselves is jumping on that scale. Yes. And so most people use the scale as an inventory. Okay, I did mm -hmm. this belly burn challenge. I did all my steps. I did more workouts than I've ever done. I burnt a massive amounts of calories and I stayed in my caloric deficit, but I only lost 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. And they're like, this was a bust, right? And then they go off and then they gain 12 pounds in two days. Right. And so it's like, I would recommend instead of just using one method as an inventory, why don't you have multiple methods? You know, go and run for a minute and see how far you can go. Right. Boom, boom. Do that again in 28 days and tell me the distance difference. Mm -hmm. What about using like, there's a member called, uh, or Dana Hill, you know who she is? Mm -hmm. so she had this yellow dress when she started and after she did her first belly burn, that yellow dress was a parachute on her. And so I told you, you keep this dress forever, Yes. right? There could be a pair of pants that you fit or your wedding dress, like use these mm -hmm. markers, right? Yeah. Use the scale as well, yeah. but then also have like other things like a photo. Like how do you compare Laura one year ago to Laura today? And just put them side by side. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because you're like, yeah, but I was only five pounds difference between then and now. I'm like, but look at the five pounds. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like you can see it in a photo. And the, the healthy habits that you create. Yes. You can't forget those. And and I, you know, I religiously, I get up, get to the gym. Mm. You know, there's some days where you have a bad day and, and you yeah. miss. Yeah. But getting back up and not saying, oh, I missed, so I might as well not go back till next, next week isn't the answer. You have to continue to just get back on that horse and keep going. Thank you. This is this is what I need to hear because sometimes I feel like I'm the only one shouting at the top of the mouth. <laughs> so thank you, Laura, for being such an advocate of living a great life. You live a great life and the rest of it, finances, relationship, faith, fitness, they're all going to tie in and it all starts between the ears. So I want to know everybody first, make sure that you've given this video a like to show us some love and this is going to increase what's called an algorithm. So if you like this and you engage on this post, then it's going to show to your friends and family and who knows indirectly by you commenting or share or liking this or even sharing it and somebody like happens to watch it that maybe you're trying to make amends with and they see this video and they're like, Oh, I never thought about that. Right. And they maybe reach out to you so they make it a little bit easier on you. Mm -hmm. But I want to know in the mornings or at any time throughout the day, what gets you going? Like, is there something that you're saying? Is there a video that you're watching? Is there a quote or is there maybe something that you're doing? Like, you know, I work out and right after I'm done mm -hmm. working out, that make that creates the intentions for my day. So what is it, the audience out there that you're doing on a daily basis that is pushing you towards being the best version of you.